Let's do a couple of quick but good examples. We have a region of space with a B field that's equal to B0 e to the minus t over tau. And we got a metal ring that's perpendicular to the plane orientation of the B field. So it's actually the area vector you could say is in the same direction. But determine the current induced in the ring as a function of time. Well, will there be a flux change? Well, absolutely. The B field is changing and it's got an area. So let's start with Ohm's law. Current is EMF over R and EMF equals minus D phi sub e dt. So the time derivative of the magnetic flux, which is the time derivative of BA. A is constant, so it's time derivative of B0 e to the minus t over tau pi A squared which is all that stuff times negative 1 over tau, which gives us this result. And so I just divide it through by R, because that was the EMF, and there it is, and that's our answer. Woohoo! Now, what is the direction of that induced current, induced EMF, causing the current? Well, you got to very carefully consider what's happening to the flux. Is the flux getting larger or smaller in the direction into the screen. Well, as T gets bigger, this thing gets smaller. Therefore, the induced current is going to be produced in such a way that it tries to maintain that original flux. It doesn't like change. So that means the B field that the induced current produces is going to have its magnetic field into the page to maintain what is originally there. And so point your thumb into the screen and your fingers will tell you the direction of the current. There it is. Now what's the current at time t is equal to zero? We'll just put zero in there for t and you get your answer. B zero pi a squared over r tau. Now for this example Let's do the analysis of a problem type that comes up often in AP physics. In e and M, we have a current carrying conductor, current I. It's changing at di dt, whatever that is. When the current is I, what's the B field at radius R? So here's a loop existing here out in space, distance, well, A to B away from the wire. And we just want to find out the B at R for the first question. Well, that's easy because we know the equation for the magnetic field from a current carrying conductor. So there's R. And there's a little strip here across that we'll look at momentarily. So the magnetic field is mu zero I over 2 pi R. That's the formula for the magnetic field from a current carrying conductor. What's the flux through the narrow strip? Well, the flux is that B field times dA. So mu zero i over 2 pi r dA is just dr times L, L dr. So there's the answer. Next question. What's the total flux through the loop? Well, now we better be careful because r is changing, so we're probably going to have to integrate, aren't we? Yes, we are. Flux is integral of the d phi sub e's from A to B. Let's do it. Mu zero i L over 2 pi constant. Integral of 1 over r dr from A to B gives us natural log, right? Mu zero i L over 2 pi ln of B over A. There's that answer. And finally, now that we know the total flux through the loop, let's figure out the EMF induced in the loop. That's fun. D phi sub e dt? Yes. Well, we've got our flux, and we need the time rate of change of flux. So all that is, is there's our flux without the current, but it's, it's really multiplied by the, the time rate of change, which is I, that's changing. So multiply it by di dt, and that'll be the answer. Now normally, the di dt would be given, so some equation for the rate at which the current is changing with respect to time. And that will set you on the path to success for this problem type.